Hey everyone, Shaper 1000 here. Most of you guys can see, today we're going to be working on a slot car on my new mat, my blue mat that Monkey got me. So we're going to be building a car. This one came with, um, I believe it was the Night Glow set that we had just bought. A little rough. Tires are bad. Well, the tires were okay. They were working and I put them on Monkey's car and we just kind of like that one's cracked right there. Sorry about the lighting. I can never get the right lighting inside or outside. I don't have studio lights. I just grab whatever light I can grab. So I'm going to zoom you in down here. <clears throat> we're going to put new brushes, springs, uh, pickup shoes, brush holders in it. And then maybe... I'll set up a quick track while we're running around the track. I'm going to have to run these brushes in. All right, let me get you zoomed in here. Okay, so first let's get these tires off of here. Yeah, they're pretty crappy. I'll have to get that cleaned up. Let's put the old tires over here all dry cracked we have new tires here as you can see they're white lettered I've got these brushes are tiny guys I'm telling you very very tiny I got you zoomed in quite a bit I got some alcohol over here. I'm going to try to put this on here and um, get these wiped off. Get this wheel wiped off here. I got to be careful so I don't lose any of these parts. So I might. have to clean this wheel up looks like it was glued at one time a lot of guys will super glue them so that way the um, the the wheel doesn't spin inside the tire we used to do that with our RC cars I had a pretty kick-ass Monte Carlo with a little one horsepower engine on it nitro run on nitro methane we used to race them in a couple other guys we used to go into West Virginia and race them and then we had a track in the garage we would race them around the track sometimes um, but they, they were just too fast to be inside so we got smaller electric ones for inside so yeah I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this all cleaned off first I almost bought a set of wheels and tires but well, I bought two sets I should have bought a lot more I'm going to order some more stuff because we're going to need tires on a couple of her dad's cars and I mean, we're just going to, we're going to run the heck out of these things. So, all right, I'll just pull this axle out of here. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do this off camera and get that cleaned up. So when we get the tires on, you know, they'll run true, nice and smooth and quiet. So let me get this cleaned off first and then we'll get into rebuilding this motor, kind of. I'm not putting a new armature in it. But I am going to clean, I'm going to, this looks pretty good, this is pretty good, this is pretty good chassis here. I am going to clean the commutator up on it, because, you know, new brushes, you want that commutator to be nice and clean. And like I said, and then we'll run it in, that's the fun part. Well, to me, this is, this is actually a fun part, working on these things, so let me, um, let me get this cleaned off the best I can, and then we'll move on to the motor part. 
Okay guys, so I've got I've got the wheels somewhat cleaned up. I think they'll work. I need to get new wheels and axles for these things. So first thing we have to do is we we'll want to take this motor up out of here. And it just slides right up out. Just like that. We've got our magnets. You don't want to get them mixed up. And pull that off. And we'll set it down just like that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol. Clean the commutator up on it a little bit. There's a little, uh -oh. there's a little washer right here. Doesn't seem to want to come off, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. That looks like that's the best I'm going to get. That I don't want to put. I mean, I've got some super fine sandpaper I could probably use on this. So what we're going to do, see that's going to go on like this. Just want to go back in there like that. Now we're going to take, <clears throat> these are our brush holders. Sorry about the lighting again guys. There's only one way they're going to go in. I'm going to take one of these little tiny springs here. It's off camera right now. But try not to bend it up. Real fiddly. These things are so tiny. And you know, after having multiple strokes, it's hard to get your hands to work, right? So I'm just going to slide it in there like that. I'm going to stand this up. I'm going to take my brushes and they go in a certain way. The flat part goes in and the round part that's going to go up against your commutator is going to be out like that. And just like that. I'll try to show you this but I don't know how well I can get this to focus. There we go. I'm going to put this inside that little hole right there. I'm going to make sure that I got that the right way. If not, I'll have to stick something up in there and turn it. And this one pushed in by hand, so that's good. And I can see that one looks pretty good inside there. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. And if you can't put it, push it in with your fingers. Just use a pair of needle nose pliers or something and push it right in and there it is. Now these springs here. So this is the bottom of the car. The long side and the short side, you want the uh oh. Okay, it's on there. Whew. There's a long side and a short side. You want the long side down. Dang it. Because that's what's going to hold your pickup shoe. Put tension on your pickup shoe. That's going to go like that. Same way with the other side. Might be able to do this. Yeah, that one just fell off. Okay, like that. 
Let's get this other one back in here. I know you can't see much. Hang on, I'll show you here in just a second. Just like that. Because your pickup shoes are going to... Okay, that one went somewhere. But your pickup shoes are going to come up in there. Let me see if I can go find that. If not, I'll have to come up with another idea. Hang on. No, I did not find it. This is an extra one, so I'm going to have to order a couple more of these. And they're very cheap, so. Okay, so we're going to take our chassis. I'm going to put this piece back in here. Like that. Now we're going to put our motor back down in here. If you put these magnets in, uh oh. If you put these magnets in backwards or put them in wrong, they'll run backwards. So you got to be careful with that. Alright, well let's just go ahead. Well, I don't like taking the magnets out because I always put them in backwards. There we go. It's got slots they slide into. And I forgot to put that brush on. Or I mean that spring. Okay guys, I got it. <clears throat> now, this we're going to put underneath here and there's a little tab right up on top there you'll see it that little black plastic tab it's got to go between it and the brush holder like that it's just going to hook on like that make sure it's in there now we can put it up over the there like that make sure your springs in there Let me get a pointer here make sure that little spring is right inside there make sure it does that do the same thing on this other side now again they make the double it's like a double spring It'll help hold your pickup shoes from wanting to go side to side. I'll show you that here in a second. I don't have one, but I'll show you the difference in what it it prevents from doing. So what a double spring does, this is just holding it on one side. It keeps it from keeps them from wanting to do that. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Okay guys, I got it back together. I had to take it all back apart again because I got to looking at this other car. I can tell this one been apart be before because the damn it. Because the, the brush holders were out and they won't come out unless you take the car apart. I was looking at the other one. The magnets were on the wrong side, so it would have ran backwards anyway. So I just went ahead and took it all apart and re uh, changed them back around the way they're supposed to be. And everything looks pretty good now. So let's go ahead and put our tires on here. Nice snug fit. There we go. White letters. White letter tires. I like them. Now this is the one, this is has an act or a uh, wheel missing off of the axle. Now I've got an axle over here I think will work. The tires are crap, but these tire, this tire is not very good either. But I'm going to try that axle in it, but let's go ahead and put this one back in. There you go. On that side there. Pop that in. OK, 
Okay, feels pretty good. Now I'm going to pop this axle in. Yeah, this axle, uh, it's a little, little tight. So what I want to do is I'm going to use my axle and them wheels and tires. Um, I have to get a bunch of front tires. I keep forgetting about them. Yeah, see that one. So what I've been doing is having to run uh, O-rings. I can't get that wheel off of there. All right. Well, I don't know. Pull that tire off. I'm going to have to run over rings on these ones. There we go. Alright. I'm just going to put some over rings on this. I'm just going to go ahead and order some tires, wheels, and axles and stuff. Feels pretty good. I got something else I'm going to do to this. Hang on one second. Okay. So I got... Oh, shit. I got these little tiny magnets here. These Neo magnets. I'm going to put them... I might have to take that motor cover off. Okay, let me go ahead and take this motor cover off of here. Whoa. What these do... They're traction magnets and they stick to the bottom of the other magnets on your motor. There we go. Like that. And they help it stay on the track a lot better. They're called traction magnets. There they are. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little drop of super glue on the bottom of each one of them. Yeah. And then we're going to get a, a, a track piece out, and I'm going to make sure it runs before I set up a whole track. But let me get a drop of glue on. Well, they're holding in there pretty good, but we crash a lot, so I'm going to do that. Just so they'll stay in a little bit better. Then, of course, it's got the original magnets there that help out a lot. So, let me get that done. I don't know what you're seeing. This is pretty crappy video, I know, but... Alright, now, let me get, uh, let me get this glued in there. And then, I'm gonna get a piece of track set up. Okay, guys, let's check this out. I oiled it up. And if it runs, then I'm gonna go ahead and make, like, a circle track and run this motor in. And it's running. Alright. So, let me go ahead and uh, get a track set up. i got to change your battery. And then we're going to run this car in. By the way, this is the one. I just like the looks of that. I like the paint scheme. This is one I'm working on. So... Alright, I'll be right back with you guys. Let me get a quick track set up. Alright guys, just got an oval track here with some straightaways. I'm going to run this car. See if we can get it broke in. Come on. And this is what I'm going to do, and it'll keep getting faster and faster, or hopefully. All 
All right. So I'm going to keep doing that. It doesn't like to take off on its own. You've got to kind of nudge it. So I'm just going to keep running it. Uh oh. Yeah, it's getting a little faster. And I'm going to keep running it until it's running, you know, where it should be. Alright guys, it's running pretty good now. Magnets make a big difference. Alright, so there it is. Sometimes you still got to give it a little nudge to get it going. Pretty cool. There you go. Awesome. Got two other cars coming, Dennis Hallbacker. Just check his channel out, Dennis Hallbacker channel. He's got two cars he's sending to me. One's a Corvette, but I ain't gonna tell you what the other one is yet. So those should be fun to work on. There we go. Alright guys, that's it for now. So, sorry about the chopped up video, but you know, kind of hard to, the lighting and stuff. So, yeah. Um, see, sometimes it still does that, but it wouldn't do that before. Oh yeah. I don't think the armature is the greatest in it. But it's good enough to practice on, like practice the upside down one. This will be our practice car, so pretty cool. It's getting faster, a lot faster than it was. So that'll work. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth the Man Legend, I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out uh, Dennis Hallbacker channel. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care. Hi right, guys. So I spent some time. I put a rubber band around here and just let it run for a while. It kept getting faster and faster. Finally it started flying off the track. So this... Oh, I can't... I can't go slow with it. It wants to go fast. That's barely, as you can see. It's the fastest car we've got now. <laughs> Doesn't like to run slow. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs>